Jude is dealing with her stress. Twice a day, she takes 20 minutes out to meditate. Using a method called Transcendental Meditation, she repeats a word in her head and tries to free her mind of thought. Sometimes you're completely free of thoughts. Other times you will get thoughts that will come through your head. You just let the thoughts come and go. The stillness and the peace actually comes again. So by the end of your 20 minutes, you just feel good, you feel refreshed. Within six months of meditating, Jude saw a big difference in her blood pressure. And for the first time in ages, it was, um, it was normal. I mean, you know, well normal, probably more normal than it had ever been. So what is it about meditation that allows Jude to control her stress response? Dr. Herbert Benson has spent 30 years traveling the globe, studying the world's most accomplished meditators. Using modern technology, Benson is trying to understand how meditation appears to reverse the body's natural stress response. What we are finding is that for centuries upon centuries, people had discovered that there's something they could do to counteract the harmful effects of stress. Benson named it the relaxation response. It's the body's innate ability to lower blood pressure, reduce heart rate, and slow breathing. We are fortunate that we have within us a response opposite to the fight or flight response. That is the relaxation response. And there are scores of techniques but in all of them, two steps are needed. The first is a repetition, a word, a sound, a movement. The second is freeing your mind of thought by concentrating on that repetition. And everyone can do it. The relaxation response can be triggered by all kinds of activity. From the repetition of a prayer, to the primal beat of dancing. Even the rhythm of exercise can reverse the harmful effects of stress. So how does it work? Simple steps, a repetition and the disregard of everyday thoughts could bring about such profound physiologic changes. What would happen in more advanced people who practice meditation? In 1981, during a research trip to India, Benson witnessed one of the most astonishing feats of mind over body. It's called Tumo Yoga. In the freezing temperatures of the Tibetan mountains, Buddhist monks have learned to use their minds to increase their body temperature. Within five minutes of wrapping themselves in icy wet sheets, they can raise their temperature so much that the sheets start to steam. You and I would go into uncontrollable shivering if we wrapped ourselves in a wet sheet in 40 degree weather. These people were able to do just the opposite through this mind-body advanced meditative technique of Tumo Yoga. In less than an hour, the sheets are bone dry. It shows the profundity of what people can do through this type of mind-body advanced meditative technique. Jude Meadows is part of a growing band of people using these ancient techniques to deal with the demands of the modern world. For three years, she has been meditating daily to promote the relaxation response and reduce her stress levels. Learning Transcendental Meditation is the most significant thing I've ever done in my life. It's made a huge difference to me on a health basis. I feel different and um, I've seen a difference in the way in which I work. You have that much more focus and clarity. You could achieve the same results but with less effort. I stop working weekends 
and evenings and it started to get a bit of a life. So for me, it's the best thing I've ever done. In a world where stress can pursue us like a predator, managing its harmful effects is critical to safeguarding our mental and physical health. Computer.